We're increasingly using the term social uh, Q&A sites. This describes sites like Yahoo Answers. Uh, and the idea here is that if a questioner wishes to ask, in effect, the internet, anybody who shows up, anybody who might care, they throw their message in a bottle out into that space, uh, and it's potluck. Anybody who shows up, anyone who's interested in that question can answer. There is a range of information that we might describe as ungoogleable. Uh, it's either hard to get at, or it's very site-specific, or it may not be factual at all. It may be someone is looking for advice. And regardless of whether a situation has happened hundreds or thousands of times, to that person it feels very specific. So what we see when we look at advice questions is that people tend to go on at length because implicitly they're arguing this is not something I could just look up on Google. I would like you to read and understand the specifics of my circumstance and take those into account. Interestingly, one of the things that's up and coming is Facebook is about to start its own Q&A application within Facebook. So if people haven't navigated their way out to the websites that are doing question and answer, um, sooner or later they'll be seeing a question and answer functionality built into uh, the social network service that they're probably using already. One question that I have for it is, is the value of this question and answer site grounded in my ability to ask only my Facebook friends? Which would give it a very different flavor from some of the other more expansive sites. I can see it having real value relative to the other services because there's already been a vetting process in which I determine that the people I have as Facebook friends have enough of a relationship that I might value their opinion more than potluck on the internet.